I got the front storage compartment open here and I'm having to add some circuits to the RV for things like my TPMS repeater and I want to put in a LED light strip and a couple other things. So there really is no extra room in any kind of a breaker or anything to put any of this in. So I'm going to have to install a new panel. This is a six circuit blue seats panel and it has a cover on it. When you open it up, it has room for six fuses and then it's got a ground bus and I'm going to just find a spot here on this back wall to uh, place this. I'm not sure exactly yet where. So what I'm doing is I'm looking through where should I put it. Now on this side, the left side of the coach, this is a battery disconnect. And over by the battery on this side, we have some circuit breakers that are not part of the quick disconnect. So these kind of stay on all the time regardless uh, of whether the battery is disconnected or not. So I, I don't really want to put them here because these circuits are not critical where they got to be powered all the time. They certainly can go in here. Now one thing I've noticed is the wiring in this is poor as poor can be. Now if you notice with this, and now let me get the flashlight on here so you can see it a little better. So you see you got a red and black wire going to a switch for crying out loud. That is not acceptable in anybody's standard. Sure, you can use different color wires, but what you have to do is you have to put a piece of tape on the end of it to actually mark the wire to what it really is. So that black wire really needs to have a piece of red tape on the end of it. So we know that that is part of the uh, positive side. And over on this side, uh, it's just a god awful mess. This here is a grounding bus. Right there. They just took a bunch of wires, there's five wires, and they just used a residential style twist on connector and connected all the ground wires together and then connected one of them to the battery ground. I mean, that is ridiculous. And I think I'm going to put the fuse panel here right next to the switch and wire it into the switch so, you know, it turns off when I turn the switch off. So I'm going to get the fuse panel installed, I'm going to terminate some wiring, and then we'll be back. So now I got the red wire run from the fuse panel up to the switched side of the main battery disconnect. And I also marked this black wire with red like it's supposed to be. So now we got the positive side done and now we're going to run the negative side, which is here. We're going to run it up, crossed, and down over to the battery. I have to put it in the battery for now because I ordered a bus bar, but it's not in yet. When I get the bus bar, I'll put the bus bar in. So here I've ran the green wire, which is the ground wire. Usually it's black, but it can be green. Uh, also from the fuse panel crossed and then into the battery negative. It is acceptable to wire directly to the battery, but you should never have more than two connections on each terminal. And I've got two connections on a negative side, but again, when I get the grounding bus in here in a few days, I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to put all the grounds right into this. So that's the way it should have been done to begin with. Okay, now you can see the uh, fuse panel. It's actually a six circuit panel and I've got one fuse in. And that fuse goes to this connection here. And then these three are the ground connections. So you got ground and you got 12 volts here. And so now when I want to run all my uh, accessories from inside here, such as the TPMS and uh, light strip and stuff, then I can make each its own circuit. Now we put the cover on and there's actually some little labels you can put on here if you'd like to label them. So that's the project for putting a fuse panel uh, for distribution circuits in the RVA.